Welcome back to BazookaTraining.com here in the sparring drill section. Today we're focusing on one of the main drills we've been working here lately at Bazooka Kickboxing and that's the slip and rip flow drill. Now in today's episode I'm going to show you how to do it as a beginner, intermediate and as an advanced member. So what I want you to think about now is just understanding that real head movement, real flow, real combination. You have to throw some punches first. So a lot of times when I see other gyms and people do slip drills, they wait. So Matt throws the jab, they wait. Matt throws a jab cross and they wait. Jab cross hook, right? And then it just becomes very slow and very you know, very amateurish, but in reality, when you fight, you need to throw strikes to set up the head movement, to build in the counters. So this flow drill, I feel, is very important. And now, in my beginner program, I use this as an actual lesson that I'm teaching. As my intermediates and advanced students, I'll get them to do it more as a flow and as a warm-up before sparring, to get them moving, to get their combinations flowing really nicely. So I'm gonna show you how we put it together here. Now, the main concept here is understanding, again, how to hit, to, to, to counter, to roll, and the idea is it's confusing for one partner just as much as it is the person attacking. So we're gonna start slow. So I'm gonna get Matt jab first, okay? From the jab, okay, jab, I'm gonna throw my rear hand. And you always have to think, left, right, left, right, left, right. It's automatically gonna flow each other in. So Matt throws the jab, I'm gonna throw a cross, he slips, and then he's gonna throw a hook, low kick, okay? And that's the basic flow. So my beginners, we start working on this, right? We start here, getting comfortable with this drill. Now, usually with beginners, I get them all to do one side, and then after they've done a minute or two minutes or 10, then the other side would go. So I throw the jab to Matt, boom, slip here, and attack. And then intermediates, we go back and forth. So Matt will go first here, chops, and then I can come back in, right? So this makes it a little bit more interactive when you can start mixing and matching. But as beginners, stick one way, because I find it kind of decreases the confusion of the drill. Now, once you get the first one down, we add the jab cross. So Matt throws a jab, we'll go slowly, holds it, cross. Now, he just hit my right hand, so the person holding now is gonna throw the hand that he didn't touch. So I'm gonna throw now a hard jab, he slips off, boom, he's gonna throw a cross, and then into a switch kick to the body, okay? And then we go back again. So it goes here, one, two, boom, cross, and then hits down, okay? Then I can go if I really wanted to, one, two, slip, hook, bang my left kick off of that, all right? Now, once you get comfortable, then you start putting them together. So we start with the jab. So it goes jab, boom, hit, one, two, slip, boom, switch. So you can see how the flow starts coming. I'll go now, one, boom, attack, one, two, slip, boom, switch, okay? So now you see the flow. The purpose of this drill now is starting to make sense. Now the third one I add is the jab cross hook. So Matt goes in again, jab cross hook. He hits this hand, this is the open hand. This is where he's gonna roll now. He rolls under. Now you notice with the roll, he's strong on the back foot. Okay, this way here he can kind of power hook and then low kick back, okay? So one, two, three, rolls under, good strong feet good strong rotation, loads up and goes power, okay? Now, a lot of times you need to understand, whenever you slip or roll, you don't have to think about what counter is there, because say I throw a cross, boom, he's already loaded for the hook. If he rolls under this hand, boom, he's already loaded. You shouldn't have to think which hand is going to counter next, okay? So, as a beginner, you've learned all three of them separately. Now, as an intermediate, this is where you're gonna start flowing. So Matt's gonna, we start moving around a little bit and we start building it in, okay? And then we'll get some flow. Boom. Yes. Okay, and then I get Matt moving a little bit, circling, and then we come back again, right? And we get this little flow developing. Now you can notice too, like we can stay in the one spot or we can take little breaks between each one. And Matt could decide, right? So he's moving, when he's ready, he goes. He might exit out, I might get him to circle a little bit and then do the second one. Boom, and then I might crash him and then do the third one quicker, right? So you notice me as his pad holder now, I decrease or increase the time in between each combination. I might get him to move. I might get him to move one step, then throw it, or come forward one step. So you can see how the flow develops in more of a fight sequence. Now, that's for my beginners and my intermediates. Now, this gets a little bit crazy, and this is where it can get very confusing even for high-level professional fighters. 
the advanced way that I build this drill because at Bazooka, my advanced program has to be able to fight in both stances. So now the challenge is to do it in your opposite stance. So Matt just did it in orthodox, now he does it in southpaw, okay? So the hand position is gonna be exactly the same, okay? So if Matt throws the jab here, boom, right? I can stand in southpaw if I want, or I can give him the option. If, he's, if Matt's fighting another orthodox fighter, I might stay in this stance and watch Matt, right? Boom, boom, boom. He has to pick the option, right? One, two, slip, boom. He picks the option of where he wants to hit. Two, three, roll. Okay, he picks back leg, inside leg, body, here. So he decides. Or if he's fighting another, and a uh, southpaw, and I want to help him out, I can switch stances, and then the same drill happens that we did on our right as we did on the left. Boom, attacks here. One, two, boom, slip into the switch kick. One, two, three, roll, boom, kick, right? So he mastered it on the right side and the left side, but that's not what makes it advance. It's being able to flow all through the right side and then all through the left side seamlessly, smooth, and nice and relaxed, okay? And it can be confusing sometimes. It's confusing for the person holding as just as much sometimes it can be confusing for the person kicking and punching. So start slow, build it up, and then once you get comfortable, this is where the flow can develop, okay? So let's try it out here. So we'll start on our orthodox. I'm gonna move a little bit, flow nice and light so you can see how the drill all comes together, okay? So one. One, two, three, boom, okay. Watch the natural stance switch. I don't even know, I build in the movement and then we go again, boom. Boom, switches again. Boom, goes again. Yes. Boom, naturally switches his stance. Good. We go again. Yes. Boom. So that's the basics of the flow drill. So depending on your level, start slow, build it up, and then at the end, you should be able to do it in both stances. It might take you a full day of practice, a full week, but think about this as a nice little warm-up. Think about that when you're before you spar, being able to hit, move, counter, move your feet. You're putting together the whole principles that we teach you here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. So it's perfect to add it in just before you spar or just before you fight. These are more realistic drills to get you ready for that type of action. All right, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com.